I remember it like it was yesterday. Though the years have turned my hair to silver and my skin to crit. My name's Eliza and I've been long and I've lived long enough to see the world change in ways I never imagined. But there's one thing time can't touch and that's the love of her grandmother that she asked for her grandson. The name was James, and he was as bright as the morning star before the war took him away. Then he came back a changed man, shadows in his eyes where they used to be like. The drink became his refuge. I call it the, the devil's drink. It became a way for him to silence the ghosts that haunted him day and night. And I watch him from my rocking chair on a poach. All the other grandkids, you know, out there working and, you know, having fun, doing things, you know, supposed to do what doing we kids do. And I just watch him and my heart would be aching. He'd do a little work or something and then when he took a sip, it was almost like a, like clockwork, you know, it was like a, they're like a machine, they couldn't go no more than, you know, five or ten minutes without getting a little douse of oil, a little sip of gasoline. I almost read it as he drank gasoline than when he was drinking. And I called out to him and I said, come sit with me for a spare. And sometimes he would, and we talk about everything and nothing until the stars would come out to listen, but one night, he didn't come home. Everybody else wasn't really worried. They figured he just was at some, you know, with some woman or out at some jig joint or something, but I waited for him. My eyes straining in the darkness until I saw his silhouette and I knew that drunken stumble. I knew it was him. But he was running. He got, he, at first he kind of was walking, then he started running. Then he was running towards the woods like he was out running somebody, somebody was chasing him. And I called out to him and he didn't turn back. And he just kept going until he was swallowed up by the night. And the next morning the town was, everybody was talking. You know, because we started asking him, you know, had anybody seen him? And the rumor was going around that some said they saw him jump onto a moving train. Some people said that he just found peace and ran up in the forest. So I heard different rumors from different people at different times. Me personally, I think he got on the train. I remember hearing and howling that night, around that same time that he was running. So now I just sit on that poach, staring at the path I see him taking, praying for his safe retire. And days turn the weeks and weeks the months and the seasons change, but old James never came back. And I like to think that he found his way, that somewhere out there, he, he smiling under a sky free of thunder. And as for me, I keep waiting and keep watching until the good Lord decides it's time for me to join him. Ah.